Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to introduce you to collapsible headings in Loop. This is actually one of my favorite features, so let me show you what this is all about. So, in one of my earlier videos, uh, I actually uh, introduced you to the regular headings, and essentially, this is what I mean by regular headings, right? When you have some text, uh, let's find out here, for example, you can select it and, you know, make it a heading and when you make it a heading i mean essentially it just you know highlights that uh title that uh you know chapter name or you know section name whatever you want to call it and um you know this is mostly for visual appeal right so it's easier to read you know if you have lots of text on your loop page however we also have the concept of collapsible headings and uh, they almost work like a collapsible uh, sections in sharepoint uh, Hopefully you have seen those, but uh, essentially what you can do, so let's say um, I will uh, select this text over here and I want to turn it into, uh, you know, into um, uh, heading. So I'm prompted to pretty much choose one of those, but those are static, those are regular headings. I'm going to click three dots and under headings and lists, you again, we have those three, uh, all right, that are kind of default but we can also make it collapsible heading and just like with static you know heading we have uh, h1 h2 h3 let's make it h2 and instead of just you know a heading uh, right it obviously makes it the same text um, you know um, uh, makes it a little bit bold and you know increased font but it also has this arrow all right and it pretty much whatever you have in that uh, you know a section so let me just, uh, you know, type in some text. You see, I can pretty much organize it in that particular, uh, you know, section. All right. So super, super, super convenient. Um, I think this is uh, very beneficial if you have lots and lots of text and you, you just don't want to be overwhelmed with, uh, you know, all this text. And, you know, maybe you want to focus and expand only the sections you need. And if you have a static section already, you can actually convert it to collapsible section. You can switch back and forth. So um, I, for example, this is my static section and I'm going to convert it to collapsible section. And right here, and look at this, you see all the text I had in there automatically became part uh, of this, uh, you know, of this collapsible uh, heading. And um, yeah, actually I got more than uh, what I wanted to, but that's because I had, of this indented all right because i indented this uh uh you know uh, this particular section it also got you know uh, to be part of it so if i don't want that i probably need to uh uh you know uh sorry the other way around decrease the indent okay just like that you see so now we're good all right so uh but that's actually brings up a good point. You know, you can actually indent, you know, if you have a, you know, H1, H2, H3 headings and you can indent uh, those, um, you know, essentially um, inside, inside one another. Actually, let me show it to you. That's a really nice uh, trick in my opinion. Uh, this way you can, you know, build uh, multiple levels of this accordion style, uh, you know, um, um, organization, I guess. So again, you know, at the moment uh, it looks like this, but I want this, you know, section uh, to be part of that collapsible section. So I'm going to increase uh, indent just like that. And now look at this, perfect, you see? And now I can expand this one and this one. So it's almost like this accordion style, um, you know, way to organize your content. So that this, you know, in my opinion, this is super useful if you have lots and lots of text uh, on a page and you want to organize it. Let me explain a few more uh, kind of nuances uh, about uh, collapsible sections. So first of all, you can, you know, if you already are using static ones, you can change them on the fly to collapsible and vice versa. All right. Um, the second thing I wanted to mention, and I'm going to record a separate video on that, but in case, in case um, you have way too, you know, too many sections and, you know, text, you might want to take advantage of um, table of contents uh, loop component. And what's cool about this is that it actually organizes, it actually creates a bunch of links to all these headings.
doesn't really matter whether they are uh, you know whether they are collapsible or not uh, you know essentially as you can see I have a full table of contents and you know it's properly indented in here as well and this way it brings me straight you know into the uh, particular, you know, heading, particular section of the page, uh, you know, super powerful. One other thing I want to mention is this. So as you add new um, components uh, to, you know, your pages. So for example, here I have voting table and um, it already, you know, uh, adds. And I think I forget, I think by default, it's actually H1. It makes, so you know what, let's do another one. I will show you what I mean. So I'm going to add another you know, table doesn't really matter. All right, so let's see. Uh, well, for some reason, it didn't add the title here. Let's try another one. Maybe Kanban board. All right, here we go. You see, I am adding a new component. It's Kanban board and it's H1, but it's a static one. But what I can do is, you know, because usually those components uh, take uh, a lot of real estate on the page, right? What I can do is I can convert this to um, uh, collapsible section as well. So let me do just that. And look what happens. It actually, uh, again, hides everything you see. So I have, if I have a task list, but maybe, you know what, we don't need to pay attention to this for, you know, some time, I can just pretty much collapse it or expand it as necessary. So that's all I really wanted to, uh, to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned uh, a new trick. I personally love, you know, collapsible, um, you know, uh, sections, collapsible headings, I'm sorry, collapsible sections uh, is something we have in SharePoint. I'm a SharePoint guy, so <laughs> you understand uh, why I misspoke. But um, yeah, I personally love though uh, those uh, headings, collapsible headings in a loop as well. And uh, hopefully you will get to use this feature. So thank you very much for watching this video and hope uh, to see you again on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Goodbye.